Hey guys, it's Andre, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a channel background on your YouTube account. Now before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that this tutorial isn't for complete beginners. You should have at least some experience with Photoshop before you use this tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. You're going to go to File, New, and create a new composition. We're going to make it 2500 by 1800 at 100 pixels per inch. Now once you have these settings, click OK and you'll have your new composition. Now we're going to select two colors, white and light gray. So click on the foreground color and set it to light gray and then leave the background color as white. To grab the gradient tool, hold down on the paint bucket tool and select the gradient tool. Now while holding shift, drag down from top to bottom. Next, download the space design provided in the description and drag it into Photoshop. Go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and bring the saturation all the way down. Click OK. Now go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and move the middle slider to the left. Now click OK. Next go to Image, Image Rotation, and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Now change the channel view to Grid, and with your Move tool selected, drag and drop the space file onto your new composition. Switch back to the normal view and you should have something like this. Now go to Edit, Free Transform and just scale down the image to fit your composition. By holding down Shift you could scale the photo without constraining the proportions which means that you won't end up stretching out the picture. Now make sure to resize it so that it fits the whole composition and then press Enter. Next, set the opacity of this layer to 50%. Now select the rectangular marquee tool and grab the whole layer except for the bottom portion. Next, right click and click feather, then set the feather radius to 200 pixels. Click OK, and then right click and press layer via cut. Then select the layer below that and press the delete key. Next, download the YouTube background template that I also have provided in the description and place it into your Photoshop window. Select the magic wand tool and if it doesn't appear on Photoshop, hold down the quick selection tool and make sure that you select magic wand tool. Make sure that the tolerance is set to 50 and anti-alias and contiguous are both checked. Then right click on the background layer and press duplicate layer. Click OK and then delete the background layer below that. Now click on the white with your magic wand tool and press the delete key. Then click away from the composition to deselect. Now with your selection tool selected, change the window layout to grid and drag the YouTube template to your main composition. Switch the view back to normal and then place a YouTube template on top of all the layers. Now what we want to do is center this. So we're going to zoom in a bit and with the move tool selected, we're going to drag this so that it just about reaches the top. Next, you're going to press Control A to select your whole window and then go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, and Horizontal Centers. This will center the image. Then click away with your rectangular marquee tool to deselect. Now set the opacity of this layer to about 50%. Next, download and install the brush package I provided in the description and install it into Photoshop. If you don't know how to do this, I'll also have a link to a tutorial on how to do this. Once you have your Photoshop brushes installed, select the brush tool and scroll down until you see them. They should be at the very bottom. Now select any one of these and make sure that the color is set back to black. Click OK and then create a new layer and just play around with the brushes to get a cool look. Now you can use various brushes when doing this. I use several in mine. But basically you want to get a really cool looking abstract effect. You might want to decrease the size of some of them, but don't bother increasing them because you won't need to. So I'm just quickly going to do this for you guys to demonstrate what you guys should be doing. But basically try to be as creative as you can. You can even download your own brushes to experiment, but this is just my suggestion of brushes that I use for my main channel. Once you're done, you should have used about five or six brushes. You may want to use more, and there isn't really a wrong way of doing this. So once you feel like you're done, make sure you click the Move tool and go to Edit, 
free transform. Now we're going to rotate this so that it's upside down. Next we're going to scale it by holding down shift and grabbing one of the corners. Now drag it to the side of your template and press enter. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. What you can do is simply duplicate this layer and then flip it over, but you might as well make both sides original. So I'm going to create a new layer and just make another brush texture very quickly. So select the brush tool and just quickly make a new one. Once you've completed your second brush texture, go to Edit, Free Transform, and do the same thing we did before. Rotate, and scale it down. Now you'll notice that this is flipped the wrong way. So what we also want to do is press Enter, and go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Then reposition it, and you're already halfway done. You might also want to erase some parts of your brush that seem repetitive. Like for example, over here I have two of the same brushes touching each other. To get rid of that, just select the eraser tool and make sure that your opacity is set to 100% and with the hardness of the eraser set to 0, resize it down to about 200 pixels and simply erase. You can do this to your liking. Next, create another new layer and then grab the brush tool again and then use the same technique only this time we're going to make more of a horizontal like brush texture select some of the smaller wider brushes for this one I'd recommend even including some of your own brushes that you've gotten from other Photoshop brush sites but you'll be okay with using the ones that I've included Once you're done, it should look something like this. What we're going to do with this is go to Edit, Free Transform, and Rotate it upside down. Hold down Shift while rotating to get a perfect 180 degree rotation. Then press Enter and drag this to the top. Next, right click on this layer and select Duplicate Layer. Click OK and go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Now what you want to do is while holding shift, drag this top layer a bit to the right and drag this one underneath a bit to the left. Now you should end up with four unique brush textures. So while holding shift, select the top layer and then select the bottom layer. Right click and press merge layers. Now right click and press duplicate layer, click OK. And then with the bottom layer selected, go to filter blur, Gaussian blur, and set the blur to 5 pixels. Click OK and then set the opacity of this layer to 40%. Set the opacity of the top layer to 90%. Now grab your logo that I explained how to create in my last Photoshop tutorial and drag it into Photoshop. Change the view to grid and drag and drop your logo onto your main composition. Switch the view back to normal and then go to edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Next drag your logo to the top left of your channel background. Make sure that it doesn't interfere with the template. Now you'll notice that it's extremely hard to read because of these brushes. So what we're going to do is grab the rectangular marquee tool and make a basic border around our logo. We feather it to only about 20 pixels. Click OK and then press delete on the two brush layers and now if we zoom in the logo is much more visible. Finally click the layer visibility on your YouTube background template to make it invisible and there you have it a channel background for your YouTube account. If this tutorial was of any help to you make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.